The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of our trading hour. Along with it doesn't matter whether you're at, where you're at, as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And we've got uh, the Fed out here blabbermouthing, um, starting to say that they'll start some uh, pulling back some cash and actually raising rates and some other stuff here in uh, December. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what the market actually does. But uh, I don't think we're going to expect a great deal unless uh, the Palster, old uh, Jerome Palster, uh, gets all excited and says something stupid. But uh, he hadn't done it so far. And, uh, I think they go to school to be able to talk for a very long time and say nothing. Uh, so we have uh, probably from, what, 2.30 to normally around 3.15 for them to say a whole lot of nothing. And then people will be a, a giant throwback to the Cold War uh, where they would watch uh, the generals uh, all standing next to Stalin or whatever despot ran the country at the time. And they'd all try to figure out what it meant. By the way, everybody stood around each other and which person was cold, which one looked like he was headed to the gulags. And, of course, they knew really nothing from all that. So, uh, man, hurry up and wait is the order of the day. Uh, but uh, what do we got? The Nasdaq's up 55 here. Yeah. What else? Eh, not a whole lot. And, of course... Uh, Fed really just catching up to where the market's already done. Uh, probably the most interesting thing to watch today uh, is the TLT. Uh, we're actually down a little. I think maybe they were expecting a little bit more. Uh, 146.35. I'll turn that up so I can hear myself just a little bit better. Uh, one, uh, yeah, 146.25.27, something like that. So uh, we'll keep an eye on it, but... Uh, yeah, maybe they were thinking for a little bit, maybe a little bit more. But uh, didn't get it. 146.11. Yeah, at the lows of the day, anyway, on the TLT, which is probably the easiest way, if you're not a bond trader, to watch what's going on. 877-927-6648. Uh, and again, like I said, probably not much happened until 315. We've got a lot of things going. Uh, elections last night may change the uh, spending bills as we go here forward in a couple of days. Uh, earnings out after the bell of the night. Um, Etsy was one, which kind of was uh, one of the darlings of the shutdown. We'll see how they're doing now that we're not shutting down uh, quite as much. Uh, we've got Roku, uh, which uh, everybody was uh, firmly planted in the recliner watching TV during the shutdown. We'll see how they did. They kind of uh, made a big mess of it last time. We'll see if that continues. I still don't really understand how they make the money. They say they make the money. They do. But who knows? Uh, I'm not shorting it. I just, one of those companies I look at and go, there's got to be more to this. I'm missing something. I don't understand it. And since there's a, uh, and more than 6,000 companies to trade. It's not going to be one that I sit there and ruminate over too much. Uh, fund buying is really kind of over pretty much by the close today. So when we get in tomorrow, it's probably a lot more about uh, the normal cycles of options expiration. Uh, of course, uh, it's the third Friday of every month. So that puts us out to the 19th. Even Friday gives us two long weeks before we get there. But uh, we'll start uh, getting into that seasonally strong point. Um, 
you know, we still have a couple of things out there that are problematic, uh, like uh, trying to get those uh, containers off the docks at Long Beach. Although uh, we've had some people, uh, not authorized people, uh, helping us a great deal. Apparently, they're throwing these uh, containers anywhere they can because they've run out of space. And people are just thinking, well, you know, if it's out there, it must be free. Uh, so they're stealing them. So maybe the stuff that you needed comes uh, comes through the five-finger discount. But they're certainly not uh, getting on the stick too much, getting that stuff out there. That continues to linger as a problem for any kind of retail company uh, that is waiting for products to come off the uh, ship. But it's uh, doing a little bit better. Um, got some uh, questions already. But uh, what I'm going to do is uh, do a little history, and then we'll get to the questions. 877-927-6648. Looking forward to your call. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1903, with the support of the U.S. government, Panama issues a declaration of independence from Colombia. How many people know that it was used to be part of Colombia? The revolution... El, El Revolucionar was engineered by a Panamanian faction backed by the Panama Canal Company, a French U.S. corporation that hoped to connect the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans with a waterway across the Isthmus of uh, Panama. And you don't get to say Isthmus all that much, so I'm going to enjoy saying Isthmus as much as I can. Uh, first question of the day, and maybe some in the den, I have not looked yet, uh, is about Qualcomm. Uh, any thoughts? Um, I don't know what they're going to say. I do suspect they're going to have similar comments uh, to what uh, Apple said. Um, the big thing on them is they own a lot of intellectual property. Everybody thinks that... Uh, they shouldn't have to uh, pay up for their intellectual property. Uh, Apple is probably one of the worst offenders. But God, if you go after any of their intellectual property, oh, now that's really worth something. So uh, we'll see. But it's mostly about whose uh, ox is gored. They're trying to get away from doing anything from Qualcomm. Qualcomm might talk about that today. Uh, I have to say, though, I we've had a lot of talk. We've had about a year of the slowdown in semiconductors. I suspect we're probably getting to the point where it's mostly baked in. Uh, there are some semis out there that I think that you might want to be in. Uh, I actually bought one earlier this week. Now, the question is, is it going to be a positive or negative experience? I don't know. I'll probably know in the next day or so and whether I want to add uh, some more uh, in that vein, I did have an update uh, for the Tech Insider today where I kind of outlined what I was looking at. Um, stocks uh, that I'm in is kind of bouncing around today, so no clear movement yet, uh, but uh, we'll have some the next day. 8797-6648 is enough to call. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And as we return, the bloviating has come to an epic, almost biblical proportion on TV. Uh, and it means nothing. Uh, Mr. Powell will be on the catwalk, on the catwalk. He'll do his little dance on the catwalk, starting at about, uh, what is it? Uh, generally, he starts about uh, 2.32, so about 14 minutes. Runs generally around 45 minutes, about 3.15 Eastern time, if you live in uh, Lutz, Florida. I have to kind of spell it out for you. The rest of the state, pretty good. Uh, and uh, that's kind of it. So uh, we'll take a look. Uh, we talked about Qualcomm already. Uh, Roku. <clears throat> As I said, kind of really messed up last earnings. Uh, been on a bender south. Uh, you've got almost a, uh, a low against this 5 million share low, which is October 4th. That was uh, 293.90. Yeah, it was 5 million shares compared to the low on November 4th of 3.3 uh, million shares. Didn't quite get down there. Still about 10 bucks above that particular low. So you really don't have a good sign. Energy is about the same on the way up as the way down. Uh, some people have asked what I've uh, said about a, a automatic rally. Uh, that's a Wyckoff term. If you don't know who Wyckoff was, he's kind of the original pat uh, patron saint of price and volume trading. But he had uh, at least the ideas uh, of how to describe a market. And he said after it goes down a great deal, you're going to get a bounce. And that bounce is what he called an automatic rally, not one that has a lot of preparation. You bounce, you pull back, you retest the previous low. Um he and uh, Tim Ward are both kind of uh, about uh, the kind of guys that would say a low is not a low until it's been retested. Um, and, and, you know, if you get down to the low with about half the volume, you generally it's okay not to uh, actually prove what he called prove the point, which is go below it and come back into the trading range. Uh, that is the preferred way of knowing that you are right. Get down there, find out there's no buyers, pop back into the trading range. 
and things uh, continue to go on. But uh, didn't quite get that, but we did get a little bit lighter volume. Uh, we're still under the three by three, so that's a little bit. Uh, the question is, how bad is uh, all the television sitting in those container ships uh, off the coast and on the uh, pavement, uh, but not making their way to a Walmart or Target near you uh, going to matter uh, to the Roku guys? I don't know. Doesn't everybody kind of already have one? Everybody bought one over the last year and a half with all that free money that everybody was sending out from Washington? I don't know. There may be something to that. There may be uh, another element of uh, they've already bought it. And the question is, how much better will any TVs actually get uh, between now and Christmas? There are some new technology. There's quantum dots. There are other stuff. But again, these guys don't make money on that. They make money on selling data and selling uh, streaming services. Uh, to me, the the more interesting part is um, kind of like a uh, fascist book. Oh, I haven't looked at that yet. Uh, just in, Metamucil is going to uh, sue uh, Facebook, who wants to have it be called Meta. I'm just kidding about Metamucil. But uh, <clears throat> I saw that the other day, and it reminded me that I'm going to call the fascist book, Metamucil, from now on. Uh, anyway, eh, a little bit of a bounce out here. I don't think things get any better. In fact, they probably are going to get worse. Uh, as soon as everybody gets through uh, the elections of the last few days, uh, what we're really going to see is uh, everybody start uh, ready to start beating on the Zuckerberg, uh, probably coming back uh, in January and February uh, and uh, Congress. And uh, you know what? Not a better uh, human pinata, uh, but uh, they have announced, I think in the last day or so, uh, or two, that they're going to delete all the facial recognition data because everybody just knows that it's creepy, and they're creepy. So the Metamucil, well, I don't know when does it actually switch. Has it switched? Everything I see still says uh, the, the fascist book, but uh, I do not know. Uh, okay. Okay. Just making sure, reading some emails, making sure there's anything new. Uh, to, to, to let's get to some of the other things I wanted to get to. Give me a call today. Great time to give me a uh, question because, of course, I'm not going to do anything until they're done yakking. And then we have earnings later tonight. But uh, I do digress. And uh, eh, Christmas party for the awards season this year. I don't think anybody has a chance. Do they? Against me for digression? I don't think so. Uh, Ten years running. Uh, the digression award. Uh, so anyway, we have Roku. Also after the bell tonight is Etsy, E-T-S-Y, uh, if you're in Lutz, also. Uh, this actually came up and kind of already topped, but not that badly. Um, again, generally pandemics of any kind have a tendency to just kind of out of the blue vaporize. I don't know if that happens tomorrow, six months, or two years from now, but it, they do. They just kind of uh, disappear, and everybody kind of wonders why. And that was long before vaccines. They do run their course. Um, but, you know, are people really set up their stores, doing their stuff? Um, this was a company that at the very beginning almost went bankrupt. No one knew how to actually get all those hippie types with the tie-dyed shirts to actually make stuff and go after the business. Uh, they ran off all the people uh, that were just kind of playing at it and, and really pushed the people that were working hard to get stuff out. It's been pretty good, uh, but they also got a huge helping of uh, – why do I want to think about helping? Oh, that's the uh, Beverly Hillbillies. Big uh, helpful 
and helping of their hospitality. Uh, anyway, big helping, helpful uh, pop when a lot of people were staying at home and started really working, making stuff from home. And uh, Etsy, the big benefit for that. As we go back to work, slowly, uh, the question is whether or not we've hit some kind of long-term high for Etsy. I think you could probably say that just about everything is priced in, but we can't. We come back, we'll look at the TLT uh, and see uh, if 146 means anything. Uh, I've been kind of saying 146.50 is kind of the uh, line in the sand out here, and uh, being below that uh, is problematic for the rest of the market. We'll be back like a bad rash. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, we're waiting for the palster, Mr. Jerome. Do his little walk on the catwalk. He's just too sexy for his shirt. But uh, I don't think he'll take it off. Uh, anyway, uh, up six points on the S&P. Cash, Dow's up down 42. Nasdaq's up 60. Russell's uh, up 29. Crude oil off uh, $2.73. Pretty big move on that. Gold was down about 24 last time I looked at it, down 22 now. 10-year, uh, um, 3%. So fairly decent move out here. 
uh, 146.06. Got down to 145.76 during the commercial. So we're kind of in that danger zone. Danger zone. Oh, I love Archer. We get one more season of Archer, so I'll be happy. Anyway, uh, take two. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, actually hanging around these highs fairly well. Uh, of course, this company is a big uh, gaming company. Um, to, to, to see what we have here. It's Rockstar Games, and of course their big uh, claim to fame over the last couple of years was Red Dead Redemption. Uh, a lot of these game companies are having problems also. Uh, if you can't get the latest, fascist, uh, uh, fastest video cards, uh, which these games are always designed for, because by the time they're out for six months or a year, um, those cards generally are fairly uh, mainstream. But, of course, everything is in short supply for a variety of reasons. Uh, but, uh, you know what? I think they probably do okay. Uh, but I don't think that there, anybody's really talking about huge Christmases for game companies because uh, you're going to have to have huge availability of computer, uh, high-end computer gaming parts uh, and also memory and also video cards. And it's just not there. Uh, in fact, uh, many of the companies like Newegg and others have taken to uh, putting together bundles where they vastly overcharge uh, crappy computers uh, and put a, like an NVIDIA card in there or one of the bigger cards from AMD and charge out the wazoo for it uh, so that they avoid all the other uh, painful uh, laws that go from uh, charging over retail in many states. But it hadn't changed anything. Uh, you can either uh, pay up for a horrible computer, pull the video card out and put it in something good, or you got a whole lot of nothing. And I don't know if that changes much of anything for you out here, but I, I'm going to just say limited upside uh, for some of these folks. Uh, I think it's getting better. And I need a video card. So the next time that Best Buy has one of their things where I have to stand out there all night long uh, and uh, get a ticket and then come back a couple hours and actually maybe be able to buy one at retail, uh, I'll probably do that on the next one because I need an, uh, a newer, faster horse uh, for my video card needs. Uh, question coming in on AMD. Um, you're back through previous highs uh, after doing rather poorly on earnings uh, and pulling back uh, from about eh, close to 130, I think, that day on earnings and then pulled back down to about 120. You're back up. You really had a lot of volume one day, but that volume wasn't near enough uh, above the 122.49 August 4th high. That was 225 million shares. And uh, eh, it's just resistance above. I suspect we're going to get into some rotation not uh, it, within the sector of uh, semiconductors as things kind of turn around for some and not for others. Um, question uh, in the den, uh, in the den. Uh, question in the emails about Sava. Um, yeah, you had some nice spikes the last couple of days. Um, Kind of just an inside day today. Ideally, you've got some fairly nice lows setting up. I would have liked to seen the September 15th low at $39 challenge. That had 6.6 .6 million shares. But as I said, if you get into it with about half the volume, a lot of times it's not going to go down there and prove the point. Uh, it got down to 42.18 on half the volume, actually less than half the volume. You got the huge run on the other side. Ideally, for the long term, if this could get back down below the 3x3 three three displaced moving average or a 9-day for a couple of days, the next tick above that would be the one to get. 
uh, that would suggest that maybe you've got an ability to get back up to seventy dollars uh, that uh, and twenty eight cents at September twenty eighth high. Uh, Boeing or not, uh, I'm not going. Is it ready to buy? Uh, B A is the symbol for that. Again, if you're in loots. Um, this thing is bouncing along a fairly decent low. Uh, I always love it when you uh, test previous lows on half the volume. Um, again, when you come off these lows, you bounce a little bit, you pull back underneath the 3x3, three three, and then generally the next move above it is the one you want to buy. Uh, these guys have problems, uh, but uh, my guess is that everybody and their dog and their uh, emotional support beaver, uh, their emotional support great white shark, uh, their emotional support uh, wolverine will be getting on planes uh, uh, left and right as soon as this thing turns around. Big problem is not so much planes for Boeing as pilots. It's going to take a while to get everybody back in the air before. Uh, as we've seen, everybody talks about uh, 1,500 or 1,800 flights canceled this weekend. Uh, my guess is it's a big shot across the bow for these companies trying to force mandates. Uh, they don't want uh, those guys uh, getting on them. Uh, they also, if uh, forced to take a, a vaccine, if they get any kind of problems that means that they can't be a pilot, uh, they do want the airlines to pay for it if they're going to mandate it. And right now, kind of a sticky problem for them. But uh, if you read the subtext, and I'm all about the subtext and the base, uh, it is uh, underlying issues. Uh, for years, uh, the uh, pilots were under the thumb of uh, the big airlines. Uh, the things, especially what they did uh, last year by laying off all the uh, older time pilots is put themselves in a pickle today. So I don't know, know if there's anything else. Okay. Da, 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 anything else in the din? Da, 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 don't see anything, but hopefully that's it. Chart looks great from Boeing. If we had some kind of a big uh, rock in the COVID cases, for like one week, I'd be all. I haven't seen anybody talking about it, but I haven't looked that close. Maybe it's time for me to start spying on the CDC uh, website again. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. back uh email from dan wants to look at the idp uh i think there's probably 80 85 percent chance that you see uh probably the 167 gap at least half filled uh that goes back to september 28th uh gap down with uh, 3.2 million shares kind of a light day today but my guess is in the next couple of days you're going to stumble up there uh, if you get a lot of volume in the next couple of days, then it, maybe it could go higher. But you're probably just going to meander. It's kind of a fancy uh, two-bit word for go-to. Uh, but uh, meander, it doesn't mean you go straight there. You kind of fear left, a little, little, light, little right. Kind of a Otis kind of walk for Mayberry RFD, if you get the deep reference. Uh, anyway, uh, back with TLT, back into the trading range. Uh, keep an eye on that. Like I said, about 146.50 is the uh, uh, is the uh, Rubicon, the famous Rubicon, uh, where you uh, cross it, and uh, that is a big deal. Kind of the line in the sand, uh, the alternate version of uh, of a mixed metaphor from me. Uh, other things going on. Do I see anything with the uh, GLD? Well, let's talk about uh, the TLT. You've got a fairly good signal here that so far, if this holds, uh, that this is going to look ugly today. But you know what? These things, by the last 30 minutes, uh, uh, the old saying is the uh, rubes uh, control the open and the pros control the close. Uh, that's P-R-O-S, C-O-L, no, C-L-O-S-E the close um, and so I wouldn't get too excited today the the market tends to be like a fish on the dock it'll flip on one side flip on the other uh, before my sister goes to uh, clean it uh, to, 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 to other things going on out here do I see anything else exciting uh, in that whole idea of sector rotation within the same sector um, do think uh, you're going to find that that continues on. Uh, the SMHs will take a quick look at. You had a nice uh, move. They run back up to the previous highs. Uh, a lot of them haven't been uh, contributing, uh, and the big ones have been. I think, you know, like AMD, some of these other ones certainly look like uh, they've hit some kind of highs. My guess is some of the other ones that haven't been doing so well uh, will come back in. But the SMHs, you got about four days of declining volume in that. Uh, NVIDIA, no stopping it now, uh, continues to just go higher and higher. And of course, uh, in the background, uh, you could hear the fifth dimension singing up, up, and away, my beautiful balloon. Except again, as I've said with this company, they can sell four times what they manufacture today that's a horrible problem to have uh question comes in about adobe up 15 bucks today ADB. um you know if you're into creating uh video content for youtube or the rest of the uh internet um 
great company to be in. I just don't see much going on with it right now. Just kind of going sideways out here uh, back into the highs. Uh, when is earnings on that one? Hmm. Okay. Take a look. ADVE. December 21st. So you got a little while. Um, you know, it's hard to figure this out. The only thing I dislike about this whole setup is the energy was off about 25% off this October 4th low, and you've gone up here. Uh, there's really kind of a tale of two cities, uh, or we can do another one in mixed metaphor land of a tale of two cities with rich man, poor man in each one. So that's a great one. So the rich man, poor man one is the company that needs lots of cash to do something. Uh, Adobe, almost all software, they don't need lots of cash. They do need to pay programmers, which is expensive. But it's not like uh, semiconductors that have to put a lot of cash in and not going to see anything really start to come out of the plant for a year or two uh, down the road. But, uh, you know, you can buy programmers today or you could rent them. Uh, and have them show up and probably in four to six weeks they can be productive of getting into it um, but you know what just uh, up on lighter volume today so I don't see much I would say that like most of these you're going into a fairly bullish end of year season uh, this is a company that's in the right uh, sector which means it don't need no money it doesn't need somebody else's money it's got its own money uh, generally, I think that's going to be the ones that are, are probably just going to shrug off and ignore whatever the Fed does. I mean, there's a little bit to the economy on it, but it's not uh, the equivalent of a big grocery store that's trying to uh, expand and needs locations all over the place. Or an industrial company that needs to uh, work uh, the next five uh, years opening a mine. Uh, these guys, uh, if they have something that can make money, can turn it around fairly quick. Okay. 877-927-6648. What else do we have going on here? Okay. Other things going on. Cheesecake Factory. We talked about that one the other day. Take two. Energy transfer, marathon, oil, sun power, sandstorm, gold after the bell. Uh, okay. Um, I love it. You're having lots of fun today. What effect is the VA uh, and uh, New Jersey elections going to have on the market? Um, oh, yeah. Uh, elections do have consequences. I do suspect... Uh, that everybody's been saying that the big uh, spending bill is supposed to be voted on tomorrow or, or Friday. I haven't heard to, or even paid attention uh, to any of that. But my guess is it either comes to the vote or doesn't come to the vote in the next couple of days. And uh, that means that it's probably... I mean, it's awful late in the season here. Mansion's uh, uh, given it a big raspberry. I don't think you hear a lot of talk about that until next year now. It's very hard for me to believe they're going to organize the troops after the uh, 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 raid on Fort Apache last night. Man, am I on fire for mixed metaphors. Uh, anyway, uh, you got that. I think it's all about tightening now. Um, they'll want to see what happens, I think, the market. But I think when we get into next week, everybody's going to, it's going to be known. There aren't going to be a lot of unknowns. We've had enough earnings. Uh, so everybody can place their bets and not have to worry too much about uh, Powell coming out and saying, boo, uh, Halloween is over. So I don't, I think for the most part, that puts an end to this if they don't get it done in the next two days, which is good long term, at least through Christmas. We'll be back in a minute. 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And as we get ready to uh, roll up uh, sidewalks for yet another great power trading hour, uh, we're waiting for the Palster to finish his walk on the catwalk. Uh, that's about another 15, 20 minutes generally it, it has in the past. Uh, big candle down on the dollar, 93.5, no, 93.862 is the last tick I see on that. Uh, he must have said something because we got about a 20 cent move there in the last bar. Um, as we said, uh, looking forward to earnings tonight. Um, Qualcomm kind of really kind of tell us what's going on, uh, and probably more than anything with Apple, uh, or at least that sector. Uh, everybody's got generally fairly new phones, so it's not something they're going to come out of. Uh, Apple, of course. Uh, down a little bit now just kind of sideways uh i wasn't looking for a lot uh, options continue to say that this thing's going to hover around the 150 to 152 50 ish range for a while i don't see a lot of reasons to go chasing uh shorts on it um we do have an absolute tremendous load of stocks that have been going higher for a while uh and kind of a bubble -icious. Uh, as it would be. Uh, Tesla, probably a fairly good example of that. No sign yet 
but I am watching it closely. Almost no shorts in this. So I kind of like that. Uh, generally, these things kind of come out of the woodwork when no one's expecting them. Um, didn't see any reason to pull the trigger before, but I do suspect that Sing has a long and storied history as it pulls back in and down over a number of years. As they've got uh, 30 years of earnings already priced in, that's if everything turns out. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We shall return like MacArthur tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.